Are you prepared for the CCNA exam? Test your knowledge here. If you're a network professional or aspire to become one, you've likely heard of the Cisco Certified Network Associate Certification Program, or CCNA, and you've likely been studying and preparing for the CCNA exam. A CCNA certification shows that an individual has the knowledge, skills, and credibility to run a network. It can also qualify recipients for higher salaries and a wider range of career paths. So, are you ready for the CCNA? In this video, we'll test your knowledge with four practice questions, but our complete practice guide includes 12 questions. For the full quiz and detailed answer key, download our study guide by clicking the link above or in the description below. Let's get started. Question one. A layer three switch has been configured to route IP packets between VLANs one, two, and three using SVIs, which connect to subnets 172.20.1.0/25, and 172.20.3.0/25, respectively. The engineer issues a show IP route connected command on the layer three switch, listing the connected routes. Which of the following answers lists a piece of information that should be in at least one of the routes? A. Interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0.3 B. Nexthop Router 172.20.2.1 C. Interface VLAN 2 or D. Mass 255.255.255.0 The correct answer is C because on a layer 3 switch, we can enter SVI configuration mode for VLAN 2 using the interface VLAN 2 command. Question 2. Imagine that you have configured the enable secret command followed by the enable password command from the console. You log out of the switch and log back in at the console. Which command defines the password that you had to enter to access privileged mode? A. Enable password. B. Enable secret. C. Neither. Or D. The password command, if it's configured. The correct answer is B. The enable secret command cryptographically stores a password to a device so no one can retrieve it, which provides added security, while the enable password command does not. Question 3. A next-generation firewall sits at the edge of a company's connection to the internet. It has been configured to prevent Telnet clients residing in the internet from accessing Telnet servers inside the company. Which of the following might a next-generation firewall use that a traditional firewall would not? A. Match message destination well-known port 23. B. Match message application data. C. Match message IP protocol 23, or D, match message source TCP ports greater than 49,152. The correct answer is B. While several differences between traditional firewalls and Cisco's next generation firewalls exist, application visibility and control, or AVC, is among the most important. This is a way for the firewall to look into a packet's application layer to identify its purpose. Question 4. Which actions show a behavior typically supported by a Cisco Next Generation Intrusion Prevention System beyond the capabilities of a traditional IPS? A. Gather and use host-based information for context. B. Comparisons between messages in a database of exploit signatures. C. Logging events for later review by the security team. D. Filter URIs using reputation scores. E. Both A and D. Or F. Both A and C. The correct answer is E. Cisco often uses its exams to point out its product line's benefits or differentiating factors. This is the case here as the question requires test takers to understand the relatively new features of Cisco's IPS tool. So, how did you do? Need to hit the books again, or are you good to go? 
Share your results in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button too.